All right, we're going to start this video where we left off in the previous one. And we now have the basic model that we're working with, which is this triangle. Triangle that grows, uh, that increases in area as the chord AB moves up along the Y axis. And the triangle is formed by the chord AB and by the tangents to the curve at A and at B. And so everything is changing in here and the area is changing as that chord moves up along the x-axis. Now, a couple of things to note here. First of all, it says the area of the triangle is 15.99. Really, that's uh, 16. So it has a base of 4 and has a height of 8. And 4 times 8 is 32. Half of that would be 16. So what we, uh, what we tentatively have here for the measurements of this triangle are 2x for the base and 2y for the height. And so we could say that our area is 1 half of 2x times 2y, which boils down to 2xy. And again, that is with a big assumption that the height will always be 2 times y. And we should really, we will demonstrate that in this section of the video. Now let's just give some coordinates to point B. We'll just call it A comma B, where B is going to be A squared. Then the coordinates of point A would be negative A comma A squared. And this is where we begin. First, since y is equal to x squared, we know that y prime is equal to 2x. And at the point negative a comma a squared, the value of the derivative is negative 2a. The equation of the tangent line at that point, y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1, would be y minus a squared equals negative 2a times the quantity x plus a, which simplified is y is equal to negative 2ax minus 2a squared plus a squared. And finally, that is y is equal to negative 2ax minus x squared. Next, at the uh, point a comma a squared, that is at point b, since y equals x squared, the derivative is y prime equals 2x, which at the point a comma a squared is 2a. And the equation of the tangent line there y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and plugging in the values that we know, we get y minus a squared is equal to 2a times the quantity x minus a. And its final form, we would have y equals 2ax minus a squared. Now, if we set these two equal to each other to find their point of intersection, that is the x value of point c, we would see that the only place where this can happen is at x equals 0. And at x equals 0, using either equation, you would get y is equal to negative a squared. And those are the coordinates of the point of intersection, 0, comma, negative a squared. And negative a squared is just b in this case, or just y in this case. So the triangle, the base of the triangle, rises b units above the x-axis, and the vertex falls b units below the x-axis. So we have, in fact, demonstrated that the triangle has a base of 2x and has a height of 2y. And so it has an area of 2xy. And we begin from there in the next video to now go through the process of uh, finding the uh, rate of change of the area at the point when AB is four units above the vertex, which is the x-axis. And I've just listed on the screen there how the uh, y above the x-axis is a squared. The y below would be negative a squared. But the distance between the chord AB and the vertex C would be a squared minus negative a squared, or 2a squared, which is the same as 2b, which is the same as 2y. All right, so we have again demonstrated that our area formula is a equals 2xy, and we begin from there in the next video.